Thank you. Uh, last week, uh, my colleague asked a question concerning development and impact on wetlands. Just now, we, uh, we heard about a waterway, and I've got another one for the minister. Uh, given the lack of transparency under the new planning task force, my constituents have many questions about what environmental safeguards will be put in place for the Eisner Cove wetland now that it has been designated a special planning area and development is being fast-tracked behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker, government needs to increase access to housing. Government also needs to protect the environment, but without transparency, how will the minister assure my constituents that this wetland is not damaged? The Honourable Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. So, oh, Mr. Speaker, again, I'd like to thank the member for the question. And, uh, and uh, again, as the member references, we're in an absolute housing crisis in the province. That means we need to act. But that doesn't mean that we're going to short circuit the permitting and environmental re regulations that are required. And as the member mentioned, and as the previous member mentioned, that we are investing money in uh, making those studies happen to make the process move along. Uh, you know, and, and is it a crisis or not? It's an absolute crisis, and we are going to act to solve it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The member for Dartmouth South. We're not asking if it's a crisis uh, with respect to the minister. I believe we were the ones who sounded the alarm. But, Mr. Speaker, my constituents understand the need for truly affordable housing, which they are not at all convinced they're going to get out of their special planning area. But they also want to be consulted about the future of their community. Unlike the nearby Penhorn special planning area, also in my district, HRM identified the Southdale lands for potential development. But according to our local councillor, it was a blank slate. It had never gone to any kind of public review. Mm. And and now has the province has swooped in and taken over the process. It hadn't gone to public review because it was only recently sold by the province of Nova Scotia with no consultation to a private developer. Anyway, Mr. Speaker, how will the minister ensure that people are informed and able to help shape the future of their own communities? Thank you. The Honourable Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. So uh, again, I, Mr. Speaker, I thank the member for the question. And what I can say is that we recognize there's a housing crisis across the province and in HRM, and we're taking steps to address it. We've we created the special planning areas to make to uh, look at what we need to do as a province and what the uh, HRM to work with them collaboratively. To look to uh, what we need to do, what they need to do. We're addressing that in bills before this house in the special planning areas. And as I re continue to reiterate, all required environmental permitting and all required permitting will be done. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.